Why hello there! Welcome to Anchan's journal. And man, it's been such a while. I haven't um, continued this series in such a long time since 2022 has. It had a lot of wonderful moments that I never got to document for you guys. And so, um, since this video is gonna upload on my 19th birthday, I really wanna. Um, give you a look back to my debut that happened a week after my graduation. So really, I hope you enjoy my commentary and um, my thoughts, my reactions, my raw feelings about it. Yeah, hope you enjoy. But hey, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Annabelle's Basic Life. I would post occasionally, but hey, uh, please uh, feel free to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. But for those of you who don't know what a Philippine debut is, it's basically a 18th birthday for a girl. And um, usually in those times, when a girl turns 18, the family throws out a big party. So it's like a Filipino version of a quinceanera. Before we jump into the video, I would like to give you a little bit more detail on why my debut happened after my graduation. So the reason why it, it couldn't have been on my birthday is because of COVID and Omicron happening last year. And so we just thought um, to postpone it until my graduation because um, it would be a great like opportunity to have all my friends all together into one party that celebrates not only me turning 18 and entering adulthood but also um celebrating all of us celebrating my friends graduating and going to a new life into the world <laughs> so the video that i will be using um was compiled and filmed into one big movie uh, for, it's from a photographer named Jetta Lynn. I really want to thank you for your amazing work in filming and taking photos of this magical and wonderful event of my life. So yeah, we will be reacting to my video. I'm kind of nervous to watch my own video, but um, I guess it's worth watching after a while. Um, just seeing every single moment in this wonderful event so Here. and not only will it be miss jettelin's video but also i will be adding um my own videos that i captured and screen recorded or those videos that are captured by my friends and they were added to their instagram stories so, so let's go ahead and let's dive in so right off the bat i started singing this song called today's the day which is definitely a song I've never sang in a while at church, so I decided to sing it at my debut. You know, to be quite honest, I felt like um, a song request before the party starts was like uncalled for, since my mom's co-worker told her that, oh, I should sing a song since I'm a church singer. And I was like, oh my gosh, what should I do? <laughs> so that's why I was just singing nervously here, but um, you know, overall, I did pretty great. I at least tried my best, and at least I tried to sing as happily as a Disney princess. <laughs> uh, go Anjan! Go Anjan! Yeah! <laughs> Period, Anjan! On to the cotillion dance. Wow, I honestly couldn't believe that um, my relatives, friends, all of th those dancers, I'm just beyond proud and just so happy that we got this dance together. And, you know, um, it took like around two days uh, for us to, you know, get the dancing together. And at least we tried to copy like one um, cotillion dance, so for old time's sake, so yeah. <laughs> I really sucked at explaining, but uh, <laughs> but I really want to thank um, my cousin and also some other relatives and friends that my mom had to like make the dance a little bit more appealing, and at least we got it um, 
perfectly and all of it together、um, before the party started. <laughs> okay, here it is, and that's me in my cotillion dance dress. It's all in pink and covered in like pink pearls and all that. It's a really pretty dress to me. Even though it was a little long, I still managed. Anyways, to the dance, we did mimic a video that included this beautiful song from High School Musical called "Can I Have This Dance" by Vanessa Hudgens and Zac Efron. And because of copyright, I can't really play it right here. But you know, I just feel like that song is well fitting for my debut and specifically this dance. When we were practicing, we. <laughs> We were kind of awkward with our partners, but you know what?、Um, at least the trust and the dependency that we have on each other did make it work out. So I'm just happy of the、um, aftermath. <laughs> Here I am in a different shirt, <laughs> but yeah. So after our cotillion dance, there was a lot of food ready, and、um, yeah. Everyone enjoyed the food, and、um, the DJs started to like sing a song, like sing karaoke while everyone's eating and just enjoying like moments together. And、um, and after I finished eating, I had to change into this beautiful dress that was from the Philippines that was bought by my cousin. So I really want to shout her out. Thank you. <laughs> It I gotta say that that that's gotta be like my favorite. Debut dress so far,、uh, since it's not too long, and even though it's like a little bit heavy, it's like really elegant. It looks really beautiful, but the corset of it did kind of itch me. But you know,、um, at least、um, I enjoy dancing in it. It was easier for me to、uh, dance、um, the eighteen roses and、um, before the eighteen roses and the eighteen candles.、Um, Yeah, everyone started to you know dance in the dance floor for a bit, you know, have a good time while I was just taking pictures with、um, my family, my friends, our neighbors, basically everyone who attended, and you know it was just a wonderful and fun moment. The first thing that、uh, came up was the eighteen roses.、Um, so first I did dance with、um, my friends and classmates,、um, and also. Family members. It was a really wonderful time dancing with the guys, and、um, I definitely gotta say that the Eighteen Roses was the opportunity for me to have my Cinderella moment,、um, and just dancing with、um, the guys、uh, just felt very intimate. It's kind of like I'm welcoming them into my presence. Like I'm just, you know, open and out there. But sometimes, again, it sometimes did feel kind of awkward <laughs> to dance with、um, one guy. And usually, I'm the one that just leads them to, you know, waltz around. But some of them took the lead, and you know, I was okay with it at least. No matter what kind of relationship I had with.、Um, Any of my family members or my friends or whatever,、um, at least this dance,、uh, this dance's intimacy did、um, did show my love and it did show my appreciation for them being in my life. <laughs> Whether they can be people that I met in high school or when I was a little girl, middle school, or really just any time, I'm just appreciative of. Them being able to show up for me, and for the father and daughter dance,、um, me and my mom were just thinking what song to pick. So my mom at first、uh, thought of, oh, there's this song from called、uh, "Dancing with My Father," and I was like,、um, I felt like SB Nineteen's "Mapa" was more fitting, basically, because you know、um, that song captivates that. You know our parents. You know they were the ones that guided us、uh, in our early years of our lives, and you know、um, they did help us grow into、um, a flourishing person. And even though it's in Tagalog, you know 
it, it doesn't matter what language it is as long as um the flow of the music is more like calm somber captivating wholesome you know that so after everyone has gone and finally there's my dad <laughs> and yeah um before the roses uh, started um i did tell the dj hey um if my dad shows up if my dad is next then can you play sb19's mafa and they were like oh okay and i'm not gonna lie my dance with my dad uh, felt the most intimate um, with me being with my dad um, it just really takes me back when i was a little girl just spending all those times with him just hanging out around my favorite places and i'm just i feel like this dance is more like a big thank you to him and after a hug with my dad, we concluded with raising the flowers and then we gave everyone a big bow. And after that wholesome dance, I get to take a picture with my parents. And yes, y'all saw me flicker my lash. Yeah, I was about to cry that time, but hey. Let's proceed to eating candles. You know, I'm just so appreciative of all those wholesome messages that you all uh, have for me. And even though <laughs> some of you are surprised that you have to say something or like a birthday wish, at least those words are from your heart or from your mind, wherever. I really appreciate all those things that you say and you know, there goes my mom. <laughs> She's just so appreciative of all of you guys who are came, who came and um and you know, very surprised, very, you know, just from the heart just is talking about all her love for me at that point and um I just feel so happy and so appreciative of her. So, and once the wishes were done, they began to light up the candles and I get to blow them. And when the photographers were shooting, you know, our pictures with the candles lit, we all looked so beautiful. And Lights by Journey began to play. And, you know, that was another wholesome moment I had with everyone. And I'm so appreciative of all the women in my life. Okay, can we all stand up and sing happy birthday to our debutante? In one, two, three, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Annabelle, happy birthday to you, one more time, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jaira. Hey. Okay, and now it's time to party and dance until 12 a.m. And you heard that right. <laughs> we were dancing until it was 11 p.m. And um, yeah, we started off dancing on the dance floor just to miscellaneous songs. And then we did the cha-cha slide. And I'm not gonna lie, it felt like being back in middle school again, just doing the cha-cha slide with Summit Tam. Um, but this time in my debut, it's like everyone in my family, and it was just the most fun moment of my life. And what's funny is that some of us rocked the dance floor, and everyone just showed their moves. We were just having fun in the dark and with lights flashing. Even though my feet got sore in the middle of dancing, I never stopped. I was just, you know, making the most out of dancing in my Cinderella slippers. But, um, yeah, <laughs> at the end of the party, I laid down. I just let my feet rest and just reflect. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the best party ever. And 
Yet to Come by BTS started playing. Oh my gosh, I was just <laughs> doing that dance and letting my dress spin. It looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And next we have Run by BTS. And yeah, <laughs> we were just wrecking the dance floor ourselves after everyone else left. <laughs> the party was effing fun. I did not expect my debut to be this fun. It's like prom and my birthday. Like, it's just a good mix. <laughs> so, what were my final thoughts? Well, I know that it took a lot of planning to do since it's obviously a really big party and um it also took like a lot of time for us to you know um think about the theme colors and all that and even like inviting um whoever we're gonna invite but you know in the end it was worth it for me and even though um not all of my friends can come attend uh, at least I brought some of them and they did enjoy it. They enjoyed every single moment. They enjoyed the music and all the dancing. They said that it was better than prom, apparently. And I gotta agree with that. So for my senior prom, we went on a cruise. We were just, you know, uh, cruising around San Francisco Bay. It was a really fun time, but you know, unfortunately, um, some of us do get pretty seasick. So not all of the seniors could dance on the boat but you know I'm, I'm really happy that everyone enjoyed it and not to mention these things but also my friends also had fun just you know trying some drinks <laughs> and i find it kind of like funny um but at the same time kind of concerning that like half of my friends uh tried uh, alcohol <laughs> but you know um at least they were okay in the end and at least they uh, weren't driving at the time since it was their parents that brought them uh, to my party. It was a really fun time spending uh, my party with my best friends from school as well as um, from my family circle. Yeah, so I really want to appreciate all who attended my party and I also want to um, I really want to give the most appreciation to my parents who really thought of, you know, planning all this out because, you know, my mom never had a debut and, you know, she wants to, you know, make my 18th birthday a really special day for me and, you know, uh, all my thanks to also the DJ, um, the DJ crew and team. I really want to appreciate your help in, you know, fueling up the party with all the music and yeah. I guess that concludes our video for today. So I really want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you'd like, if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.